Suicide Squad. What happened? Not what an, happened? Not enough Jared Leto Joker. For reals, though, uh, it looks like the news just came out and Suicide Squad, not the Suicide Squad. No, it is the Suicide Squad. No, I, the old one's called Suicide I thought this was Suicide Squad. No, old one was Suicide Squad. This one is the Suicide the Squad. Suicide. Yes. The Ohio State Suicide Squad. Exactly. Gotcha. Urban Meyer. Well, let's take a look. And See? The Suicide Squad. Yeah, well, for a second, I thought this was the old one. So I was con- I was confusion, as was the audience, was confusion. Because here... Hunga, hunga. <laughs> hunga. Yeah, maybe they should have. Well, okay, that's a good I'm going to get to that point, actually. So I have not yet seen this movie. We will have a full review on our, our podcast on Friday night, 730 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can come check that out and get our actual reflection on this movie. But we're going to do no spoilers for you guys because we're just speculating on why the Suicide Squad flopped. Let's get into the details before we speculate. Uh, Let's take a look here. It says... uh, It made no money. The Suicide Squad is a sequel to the 2016 critical flop, but commercial success. But you have to take into mind, A, that movie's terrible, but... Uh, 2016, around the same time of Dawn of Justice. So, like, that's when people started to notice that the the uh, critics were skewing towards whatever they are shilled to pay for versus what the fans wanted, right? Uh, see, they added the at the beginning as to not confusion, but they still did confusion. Uh, so, it looks like a $72 million global premiere on an $185 million budget. It'll be lucky if it makes its money back. Eh, well, I don't know. Yeah, well, let's see Gotta here. get that China money. Well, we don't know if it's going to get any of that China money, but uh, the Suicide Squad, the David Ayer version, the original. No, not the David Ayer cut, though. The studio cut. Yes. It raked in some mad cash. Got $746.8 million. So it's considered a flop by the studio because it didn't make a billion dollars. It's so, so, DC is so dumb. Uh, and it, what it, it was the biggest, <laughs> biggest domestic August debut of all time. And Jared Leto Joker was in it. I mean, how could you not lose even though that movie is terrible? Uh, let's see here. The Suicide Squad brought in a measly $26.5 million domestically, despite getting good reviews and sitting at 91% fresh on Rotten Tomatoes. They're, they're going to blame HBO Max, which uh, I will say Money Team, the whole Money Team. Oh, I forgot about HBO Max. <laughs> Money Team saw it on HBO Max. They I all watched s- it. I forgot that was a thing. Yeah, they all watched it. And uh, the thing that's the big like nail in the coffin, which could really hurt uh, James Gunn from getting anything else from anybody. <laughs> He's a pedo. It, no, besides that, it's a, no. He was blaming Jared Leto of that. He likes. Oh, to that's fold, right. He blamed Jared Leto being yeah, a pedo. Yeah, he folds Asian girls into f- not furniture into suitcases. Uh, suitcases. Yes. yes. Look it up, folks. It's real. We're just reporting the news here. James Gunn is a weird, kinky Santa Claus now. He's something. Yeah. Uh, but Birds of Prey, which is an awful movie, debuted at thirty-three million, so bad, uh, and ended up two hundred and one overall worldwide. But it didn't have the coof to fight off, and so they're they're blaming a little bit of this, a little bit of that. But the top five were The Suicide Squad with twenty-six point five, Jungle Cruise with fifteen point six nine. Old, old, probably made like a lot of money at this point. Considering I think he only paid $10 million. I was going to say, his movies are usually cheap as shit, so he probably made money on it. I feel like he does. So Forbes has some ideas. They say their branding is bad, right? And they basically recast Will Smith with Idris Elba. Idris Elba's awesome in it. I understand that, but you're saying Will Smith's not awesome? No, he is, but... There was room for both. I mean, they weren't both in it. Yes, they there's didn't only re- room for one leading black man. What? Well, okay, but <laughs> I just I'm not. I didn't cast the movie. Did you? It had Sylvester Stallone playing a shark. What else do you need? They didn't eat. I don't think they they did much with him advertising it either. So, in fact, 
James Gunn came out and was like, oh, I don't know if it was good casting. I, I, I wasn't sure about it at first. Dude, he's doing a voice. The rat catcher is super hot. Mm. I would catch her rats all day. No one knows who she is. So, okay, then, then let's talk about it. Not from CNN's perspective, but from my perspective. Who's the star of this movie? Uh, Idris Elba. Okay. Uh, well, hold on. Uh, it, no, Idris Elba. Are people done? Are they done seeing Harley Quinn? Are they? Do, that's what a lot of the online view guys are saying. Oh, they're just sick of Harley Quinn. They're just tired of of thinking Harley Quinn is the star. Because if you saw just the trailers and stuff, I'd say John Cena, Idris Elba, and Margot Robbie are the the. They three are leads. the three main people. Okay. Do I care about John Cena? Is he a movie star yet? They already green lit his stupid character having its own. Oh, yeah, the Peacemaker show. On why? HBO Max, yeah. Right? So okay, I'm gonna like. I can make an assumption. I don't want to spoil anything because I don't know the answer to this. But if the dude's got a spinoff, it better be a pre. Like I don't know if it's a prequel and I don't know if it's a sequel. But I don't think John Cena is a superstar yet, right? So let's check that box. He's pretty awesome though. Idris Elba is dope as fuck. He is, but he, he when has he ever carried a movie? He hasn't. Okay. And then Margot Robbie. Has she carried a movie recently? No, but she's awesome as Harley Quinn. Again, they're all good side characters, but there's no lead. The reason why everybody went to go see the first Suicide Squad was to see Jared Leto Joker. I mean... And they needed more Jared... Clearly, they needed more Jared. We did need more Jared Leto Joker. James Gunn wouldn't even use Jared Leto Joker. I blame him, ultimately. Yeah, I mean, it was a sequel, so he does exist. Well, is it a sequel... Well, don't, I guess that's a spoil. Then call it Suicide Squad 2. It's like a, that's, it's like a sequel without them wanting to acknowledge it's a sequel. Well, uh, that, that shows. It's a sequel boot. But that's where you struggle. That's where, if, if you struggle to define that, then they struggle to define it for their audience, which means the audience was going to be confused. How am I supposed to know the difference between the suicides? Is this the air cut? Like, you got to think like a normie. Normies are like, what's the difference between the Suicide Squad and Suicide Squad? You know, CNN is, you know, fear porning for, you know, the coof and saying, Hey, that. I went to a fully packed theater. Really? Other people said there was nobody in their theater. I mean, I went clearly it wasn't that packed because it didn't make any money. I went opening night. So, yeah. yeah. So everybody saw it then and no one else saw it ever again. Basically. Yeah. At least it's not. Specific. I'm seeing it again on Wednesday. Well, you're just taking all me all about it. Taking me math. It's also really gory. Yeah, well, that's the other thing. It's it's rated R. So it's the not, original it's one not rated R. Fr- no, PG thirteen. Okay, so I think that's a big problem too. Is you know you kind of let James Gunn have free reign and go full rated R. What did you expect? Like this wasn't gonna be Deadpool. That and I think is the tone true. is very confusing for people. Is it funny or is it gory? They know it's that there's funny, a shark. Gory and serious all at the same time. Okay, that's not a tone then. That's tonal confusion. And a lot of uh, reviewers that I respect all said some things similar where they were like, it's a good movie. It's not a great movie. They're like, I wouldn't go see it again. Well, now I feel dumb. I'm going to go see it again. Clearly, you are dumb. It's me, ma. So we're, I'll go check it out, and I will tell you if Noob Noob is dumb. Is Noob Noob dumb? I'm going to see it again. Tell us in the comments if you think he's dumb. And that's not necessarily directly related to his perception of suicide. Squad. Maybe I can make the second viewing better by every time there's like a pause in speaking in a the pregnant lines. pause. I'm just gonna be like hunga hunga. I think everyone it, in the theater would have enjoyed that much more. I'm gonna make it feel like Jared Little Joker is right there with us. If he had been there in spirit, in in you know, maybe he was just hiding behind someone all the time and just leapt out and said hunka hunka. I will bring. I will do method acting. I will bring used condoms and fling them at the audience. Mm-hmm. Like he did to uh, Wanda Sykes, not Wanda Sykes. No, because Wanda Sykes' husband said that he would beat up. Jack not Wanda Joker. Sykes. Uh, shit, what the hell is her name? It wasn't Wanda Sykes. Amanda Waller. Yeah. Viola Davis. Yes, Viola Davis's husband. No, I still don't think that's her. No, it, that, that might be her. Is that Bi- Google yeah, Viola Davis? It's Viola Davis. Okay. Yes. That's yeah, sh- she's also, to- like, it's weird. It's, yeah. Uh, tonally, it's definitely a little weird. And they expect you to kind of know it's a reboot, but also a sequel. The other thing that the money the money team said, money team says it was boring. Not boring at all. Money team also says that uh, they don't know who any of the characters are. And that they didn't like the King Shark. They said that King Shark is, is not close enough to the King Shark that they're used to. That King Shark seems to have come directly from Harley Quinn animated series. 
So that's a relatively recent property. So most people wouldn't recognize like this dumbass. I was going to say shark. it's very different King Shark than animated Harley Quinn. So he's super dumb. He's super dumb, right? He's, he's like, like a, a child. Okay. That's what I was understanding. So yeah. anyway, again, and they don't know who Polka Dot Man is. They don't know who Peacemaker is. They don't know who Ratcatcher 2 is, let alone Ratcatcher 1. So these are all pretty minor characters, in- including Idris Elba. Like Deadshot, you know, Will Smith as Deadshot was a low end character. So yeah, Bloodsport, I had no idea who he was. Nobody does. Nobody know- knows who any of them are. Other That's than the he's point. an assassin, like Deadshot. Okay. He's a black assassin. Exactly. So uh, tell us what you thought of this movie and uh, make sure, you know, we didn't spoil it for you, so don't spoil it for me. But you can spoil it. By the time you get the comments, you'll, you can spoil it. It's okay. And then we'll I will give an update of me Maz review. Your Maz going to fall asleep. Uh, or she's going to be like, why did you make me go to this movie, you, why you stupid mean? twat? Yes, she will also say you're stupid. So if you think Noob Noob's mom is smart, but he's stupid, tell us in the comments below too. Yes. There you go. And smash that like button like my mom's going to smash me with a Laffy Taffy for taking out of this movie. <laughs> smash you right in the face. Anyway, that's it for us here. Uh, we went a little long on this one, longer than we thought. But uh, we'll catch you on the next one. And in the meantime, we're on to the next one.